everybody, it's Cinnamon Cooney, your art Sherpa, and today for you is day 25 of Acrylic April, and this is going to be that really fun landscape with the boats and the birds and the lights. On the mic is my husband, John. Hi, guys. He is going to be tracking you with our cameras so that you can create this for yourself at home. If you check the description below, you're going to see a link to the website. In that web page when you open it up you're going to see exchanges for paint colors just in case you don't have a particular paint color that i have you're going to see a couple extra videos so you can see how to paint in that background and use the gridding method to draw there's also traceables and references just tons of stuff there to help you succeed at what you're doing which is doing a painting oh johnny you ready to get into this absolutely all right let's jump on in Whoop, boom. oh you're so good at that now Whew. It's a lot of peach. So it's normally some, it's some peachiness, and that's gonna, I think, make that that those mountain ranges look really good. I'm I'm thinking I'm, I I I mean it's like a lot of peach and gray, and then a little bit of red. So I think it'll be really interesting to do. And oh, definitely, this is the end of the day. I've had to do a lot today, and so my eyes are tired. You've had a day. I've had a day. Normally, if I had to do a daily painting, this would be abstract. But I thought it would be. Rude to, you know, put up some boats and then just come in and go squiggle, 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 done. <laughs> but if you feel like that, that's okay. So the first part I'm going to do is start laying in the bits of the landscape that I'm seeing. You will see here that we have burnt sienna, cad yellow, uh, medium hue, vermilion, titanium white, Mars black, and ultramarine blue. And that's really all the colors I expect to be using in this particular project. Now, the first part of this is going to be a nice little peach, just a, a little more maybe to the red. I'm thinking we'll see how it's going, and I'll get some just a little bit to the yellow. So that's a couple variants. And then you're going to get some white into this. So I always, I thought this is what actually attracted me to this particular uh, painting. I'm going to be just doing these diagonal brush strokes. This is a number eight Cambridge. Um, it's a bright. Uh, I like brights. Yeah. To be real honest. You seem to like the control they give you. They do. They give you a lot of control and they they work better with the heavy body paint sometimes because the flats can be a little bit soft. All right. So I'm making this little backwards and forth brush stroke and you can see it's actually creating clouds <laughs> just just like how it does. Like I don't have to do like an extra bunch of stuff. It just makes clouds. And if you just keep getting a little bit of, you know, your white and some color and then you go back and forth, you're going to see that you get those soft implied clouds in the sky pretty easily. The fun little trick that you can do to maybe have some better skies. Just wiggling that back and forth. It's crazy that that's all it takes to get that sky in. But yet. There's a sky. Isn't it wow, weird when it just comes just in? You're like fast. sky, <laughs> sky. But I didn't do an abstract. <laughs> now I might take um, one of my palette knives and make up a gray color. And for this piece, I really felt the gray actually for it should be the burnt sienna and the ultramarine blue. Now I could have done black and white, but I felt that there was almost a blue cast to the gray that we had. So that's what I'm going to create here. And then I may even go ahead and create a large amount of the peach. And that's going to help me do these mountains coming forward. That's going to be my trickle. My tricks. So I'm going to take a good chunk of my yellow and a good chunk of my vermilion. And we'll make up some of the. Some of this orange. Pretty easy stuff to make, isn't it? All that fuss over living coral, and we just make it all the time anyway. <laughs> so in a landscape painting like this, it's very atmospheric. Distant mountains will appear to be nearly the same shade and value as the, as the background sky. So if I take this and I get just a smidge of my gray color, see how that just makes a slightly gray little mountain space? I can come here and hint that there might be a little mountain in that space. And these little mountains are like wild. I don't know if you notice this, but these are some 
some like wild mountains. As you come forward, you just add more of your dark pigment into that mix. And that's the next run of these little mountains. And they're just distant and far away. <clears throat> That's all we're doing. Isn't that fun? And so that's an interesting. I like them. Yeah, I like it's the trees coming together. I mean, the... I'm so trees. out of it today. <laughs> you guys There's... don't even know how committed I am to like doing the journey with you. These what are these things in the ground that stick up? They're made of rocks. I don't know anymore. I used to know, but I don't know anymore. The time that I knew is long since past. I'm going to paint right over my little sail. I'm going to have to just freehand that little sucker in. It must be a hinge. A hinge is something that's made of rocks and stands up. And Big stone hinge. Shuffling this little loose, crazy painting in. Getting a little water on my brush. It's getting been... a little load into it and coming back into the orange just to make sure that we've got, you know, a mountain color. I was joking with Cinnamon earlier today. That Were someday, we joking at any point today? It's been well, a really long, hard-working day. Someday she's going to be interviewed and asked what it was like to do a daily painting on Acrylic April. <laughs> she's going to have to answer that she doesn't know because she's never done just a daily painting. She's done like five or six paintings a day. What number is this? This today? is... Three, four, five, four, five? Five. Yeah, not not for Acrylic April. That's no. not what caused it. I've been no. just struggling along like I recommended for you guys, but we have some events coming up. Other projects that we have to do. And everybody kept having feelings on the design, and then there was just a lot of redesign. Material changes. Ugh. Yeah, material changes, and just just like, wow. So, and, and, and it's always an emergency. And, you know, Cinnamon would never want you guys to just have one option. No. So, of course, <laughs> she doubles up her own work. So tell what you're doing there. I am just laying in these mountains in this incredible state of fatigue saying, I am painting. This is my actual daily painting. Yes, I did a bunch of designs today to make sure that our event had some selection and some stuff. But this is actually my, this is my official is your, daily painting This is your today. commitment? Even though you did one live earlier? Okay, well, that is not... Shh. <laughs> Shh. Stop it. I'm a very serious artist. I don't know what it's like for other artists. Look at me, they're like, how many paintings did she do a day? Even my mom's like, oh, I God, girl. I can't tell you how your hair conveys serious artist. Does it? I am a serious artist. <laughs> it's so funny, because, like, sometimes artists will come for me and be like, you're not a serious artist, and I'm like, you know, I don't just don't even know what to say to you. I, if that makes you, you feel better, okay. You didn't get up early enough in the morning to not call me a good artist. Yeah, it's whatever it's helps you sleep at night. It's not that you may not be right or wrong. You just didn't get up early enough in the day. I had to get up really early to get all my stuff done. All right, so I have some little crazy, loose, distant mountains happening here, and they're all kind of foggy and orangey, and that's sort of nice. Yay! As I come forward... You've completed those mountains. I just take my darkest value, and that's this level of mountain right here. There we go. Nice little forward mountain. He's kind of like... Uh, he's got a little bit of fluffies because he's got little trees. You know, again, you're just trying to capture the essence of everything that's happening here. If you need to knock this mountain range back, all you've got to do is just come back with just a little bit more of your sky color into that. And you can always lift it up even a shade if you need to. Oh, so how did you do that? I just went back and added more of the sky color into my gray color. The sky color. You seem. You say that like I would remember what that was. So that was, babe. So that was the vermilion, the cad yellow, and a one-to-one -one mixture with a little bit of white. And then over here, I have my burnt sienna and my ultramarine blue mixed a little heavier to the blue, and I'm using that for my mountainscape. Okay, so that's you got the mountain back by just kind of blending back into the sky color yeah i felt like it was a little bit too deep in value and it wasn't distant enough no because these because of the, the color selection you have you don't have to 
worry too much about if those proportions were a little off, right? What proportions are out there on? Like what? when you're make when you're re, if you're like remaking your brown. Oh yeah, okay. I was like, I don't know what credit <laughs> it in. I feel like I did a good job. What do you see that I don't see? No, I'm no. really tired. Right but I mean, now. just for those viewers, if like they were like, oh, I've got to go back and remake some. Yeah, you know, just when you're doing this, looks so like if you're trying to get this particular orange, it's just a little more of the vermilion than the yellow. It just tints a bit to the orange. Um, if you are trying to do this sort of ultramarine and burnt sienna gray, you just take it a little more to the blue. Okay, cool. I think that will help. That's what I was saying. Why? Well, you know. I don't know. You I, get, no, you are here to help me because because I'm not, again, I'm never. We're like, there's some things that happen, and I'm like, never going to let the community down again. <laughs> it's like a whole thing for me. It's a whole thing in my world, man. So in the background here, I feel like what I'm seeing is a little bit of the sky color. It's a bit muted with our gray, and I'm going to bring a good bit of the white into it. Can you guys see that? Yeah. And so I'm going to come back here along this little edge above my, my boat. Of my boat, maybe it kind of even comes in a bit. I'm gonna lose my little dude. I think the only thing I'm gonna keep is like probably his little boat. <gasps> oh no, he's gone. The Hope water I can put him back. Him he's away. gonna look crazy, John. He's gonna look crazy. That's all right. You're, he'll be back. So what I'm trying to do is just make sure that I'm keeping my water line kind of level, which I'm losing. If you lose it, you can always put it back. Don't be tired. <laughs> no good can come of it. Actually, that worked out really well. That I like out. that softening. It looks like there's mist at the back. Okay, that worked out. So sometimes when you're super tired and you're painting and you're like, wow, um, you will do a thing accidentally that works out super awesome. So lean into that. You're like, and, oh, yeah, your friends will come by and they'll be like, oh, they really like this. And you're like, yes, yeah, I intend Only to tell your close friends, like I'm only telling you the entire internet that I'm, I'm here, but, you know, you only tell your very closest friends what's going on. <laughs> Don't volunteer. I'm just pulling this across, across here. I just think to do this for me, you guys can paint around the objects. I think for me, I'm going to have to just freehand it in. I really do. Paint them out. Yeah, I do. Like, if I had to regrade it, I'd regret it. But I think just right now, I'm, I know I'm going to need to, like, freehand this in. Well, you know, you're at that portion of the daily painting where... Where I just don't even know what I'm doing anymore. We're going to we're gonna forgive you this downhill slide. Yeah, you guys, <laughs> seriously, that gonna... I didn't go abstract. <laughs> <laughs> it's a testimony to my will. So I'm brushing back and forth, and I'm adding this light value where I've just kept tinting and shading it with white. And I'm brushing on the edge of these bristles that's giving me sort of a noticeable, you know, stroke that's mimicking maybe some rippling in the water, which you can kind of see it's picked up now. Yeah, a little bit there. Yeah. Now, in the background, we have bits of, of, of the gray, little bits of it, right? So we'll come into this and, and maybe if you want to make it more gray, you go more into the blue. See what I'm doing? I and I can bring this over here, and that's going to be the gray in my water, I think. And I am taking it in a half mix into my peach, but that's because in this type of landscape, things tend to blend together. I remember very distinctly the first time I pulled this technique off, and it was with uh, pens. Pens. What were the pens? They weren't. Huh. They weren't Prisma. They were the. They were like so much money, and they were required for a class. <laughs> so much money. Oh, I vaguely remember those. And I figured out how to get a really great blend. They're an alcohol marker. Now, now they're Copics, but they were no Prismacolor. And so they used to be just a, a ton, ton of, well, they're still a ton of money. And it was such a big deal, and I figured out how to blend. And, oh, my goodness, I was so excited with myself. So I'm just coming here, and I'm, like, implying these little bits of water movement that you might be seeing in the background. And see, it's quite light, and it's pretty emotive. You know, and come in a little more heavy on that in the brush and, you know, as we're going forward. And you can, you come in a little more heavy on the brush. Now, this from about, 
I would say right here, I've got just a bunch of little ripples I've got to address. Here I go. Uh, here I go. Here I go. Here I go again. <laughs> fine. Things are fine. It's okay. If this is your first video, um, gosh, I'm sorry. That was a bad. <laughs> usually so good at this you are pretty you're doing good all right all so right i need to show the little rippling of the water i don't want to get too wound up because the idea of this on a daily painting is to be loose and expressive and you know maybe not overwhelm yourself which clearly did not see that at least today <laughs> today was maybe not that day it's a little more gray here if you'll notice in this sort of center space in the painting and that time i w went and just got the dark color didn't i i like didn't even i didn't even take it over the peach i was like yeah you just get in here you can see that these little marks are coming in from the sides you can just touch your brush to the side and if you overwork out your peach remember you can come put it back in don't feel like you can't because you can. You can come put it back in. Look at your reference. Think about what you're doing. Just breathe. <sighs> breathe. Just Sometimes breathe. we hold our breath when we're working real hard. We'll hold our breath. And then there we are. Now this one I'm going to go I'm gonna be kind of crazy and just go very strong into the blue was like my inclination. And I'm going to come here I'm gonna just pull this down the straight I think is about so if I was to look at my finger from my nail to that all right pretty good that's a weird thing you can do if you're having uh, trouble with your aspect ratios you can you can kind of go how deep is it in relationship to your finger how much space is it taking up and so that's what I'm trying to do is I freehand this in what am I thinking I'm gonna add a little Black to that and come to the back of my boat, adding a slightly kind of darker hue. And that's supposed to be talking about. And then I'm going to curl the roof up. Give me curl the roof up. I do. Curl your roof up. I'm underneath with some, some black. I'll make a little back end boat. And you can switch to a smaller brush. I'm doing a Kind of this one brush challenge a lot of times, which I may like back out of because I got to do these little, these little guys. But I'm trying to get into that space where I can. I'm gonna get a little of my white and blue into that. There we go. Because there's this bit near the water. I'm not sure. I think I got to switch brushes. Yeah. Yeah, it's just too difficult for me today. I'm going to get into, oh, I guess it's not back. It was washed and it's not back. So maybe I won't get into it today. Oh, cat's tongue is what I'm stuck with. I had normally have a number four round over here, but I washed it. I can probably locate one. I'll work it out. I got the cat's tongue. It's, it's got this nice little point, so I should be able to get through. So I'm basically just making sure that I can capture some of this the way the shape I want as I need to I'm grabbing some of my little brown from across pull down and there we go up a little bit and across and up so I'm just trying to keep it someone in a little implied perspective of this little little boat but if I need to like take some out I can take my peach color right the head back there and just come in like okay there you go little shavies and that gives it a soft little shave hmm. now i'm going to go ahead and get a little of my no but yeah i think so i'm gonna come underneath here get a little of your blue into it Let's think a bit about the reflections that we are seeing around our boat. See how they're darker? 
Yeah. Because the boat is intrinsically casting like a little shadow. Just trying to make sure these little elements are pretty good. Now I've got this fun red sail, which I'm actually looking forward to. Actually, the boat's better than I figured. I think it turned out kind of nice. Look at me go, man. I'm all tired and I'm still on my feet. Painting little boats. Little red boats. So this is a little longer than the boat on this side and comes to about here. At a slight angle, which is just trips me out. To be real honest, it's really a little bit bigger. And I've got all this like it's a big sail too. Like they're going somewhere. Hopefully I've patched this and it will look right. We'll see how it goes. Wish me luck. I think you it's can, looking pretty good. If ever you get into a thing and, and if you're not confident, like, free-handing it in like I am right now, and I, <laughs> I may be eroding your confidence. <laughs> How are you guys doing? I'm so proud of everybody. No, this is great. Age 25. You're doing awesome. You're amazing. I love you. Thank you. I'm just scalloping that so I can kind of get a sense of that, making sure that's a nice, beautiful red. Now, interestingly enough, I'm going to take this red over here where I had a little bit of the ultramarine and the gray, and I'm going to make a reflection, but I want it to have a red cast. And you're going to come right here. I'm going to brush back and forth just on the tip. This is a number eight cat's tongue. You could use a filbert. You can use your bright, you know, whatever brush is going to get you through. And then as you come closer, you can open up the, the way the red reflects on the water. Isn't that wild? And I got a little red reflection because boat reflect red. Hmm. I'm going to go into my black. And I'm going to come here and I'm going to make my little crossbars. Because it has these cute little crossbars that keep this little sail up. Sailors are probably like, it's not cute. It's super functional. <laughs> and I'm going to make the little black lines that I'm seeing that bisect the sail. Right, and that'll help it. And that's a loose little, you know, I got my loose little boat there. It's a little loosely described. Sometimes we describe things highly realistically and sometimes we describe things loosely. Just making sure that the lines that I want to be, you know, stronger and thought about are. And then I'm going to just talk about that little series of reflections that's coming down. Because it has these little deeper reflections. Yeah. And you'll think about there'll be little objects and things in the water that will do things. Now, I've got to do my um, little guys and their boat. And I'm going to use my ultramarine. And my um, black, I'm going to definitely put on my glasses. Because it's going to be like. It's the glasses hour. Yeah, it's, yeah I'm going to need them. So I've got to figure out like how close to that I want to get it. And I had, without the grid, I had really kind of struggled to find my way with these unusual shapes. Trying to think how far that they. I'm really excited about doing the lantern. Why the why the lantern? Because it's gonna make a neat little glow and it's fun to paint. Oh. Lanterns are always like intrinsically. The little birds are fun to paint. Um. Paint this guy. Actually, so here here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give the top of his hat. This is how I'm gonna get through him. I'm gonna make a little mark up here. At the horizon line for the top of his hat. Is very important fishing headwear. That I don't know what it's called, but I'm sure it's super, super important. It's a fishing hat. Yeah. And it probably has like some really like intense function. 
Yes, it keeps the sun off of you. You're cheeky. Cheeky dude. I was going to say. That's what fishing hats do. I mean. Now I'm going to come down here and I'm going to make sure that when I do his loose little leg. Right. That that is something that I'm catching here. Before I do any of the other. Can you believe I'm trying to paint him with this giant brush? I think you're doing a great job. I can get you number four. Uh, it, you know, it might help it, but I, I think I'm going to get through. Isn't that crazy? Oh, he's got a little little bit of a head here. There's a very important little piece up. And then there's this sort of like little shoulders. And this is going to be sort of interesting because he's he's got these little fringes. I don't know what the why the fringes are so fringy. Hmm. Probably. But they're very fringy, and it's kind of one of the things that attracted me to this image. Was this sort of almost supernatural figure? Because the birds and everything on the boat, they felt very supernatural to me. I'm going to bring this up. I'm going to come over here. We're going to put a little top of the lantern and a little bottom, and I'll have to come put the... Oh, my gosh, this is actually going better than I expected. Yeah, it's turning out great. Now, they've got these little nut things that we uh, can think about. and. Going to just very, very loosely talk about it because it's, we'll say it's far away. and But it gives me a chance to paint this little bird dude. I also felt like the birds just like contributed a lot to like how crazy, like awesome. Yeah. The piece was, these little bird shapes. Because like these guys just weren't out fishing, like they had companion birds. If this is a part of the world that you live in and you get to see this every day. That is so cool. We have ducks that lives on, live on power lines. That's true. <laughs> you have these birds. We have these ducks. Power ducks. <laughs> our ducks are, well, our ducks have to because there's too many neighborhood cats. <laughs> and they're like a, like a native species. And so they have to be on the power lines now. Little bird there. I don't know that I'm going to easily get the next bird in, so I may not put him in. And I'm going to just make sure that this is you know, dark and vocal. Now, what's wonderful here is that you can do this cool thing where you come back behind here and you've got the very dark reflection. And you see how I'm leaving it open? Yeah. Then I'll close it for where I, you know, kind of implying where the body is. And then you give a little bit of it sort of solid. And then as you come out, you get lighter with your lines and move them around and go like that. And it's like he's just shimmerily reflected in the water. And this bird, she needs a reflection. And then the stick kind of does. And then there'll be a cool little reflection here that I got to put some yellow into. And then right here, another little reflection. It's probably from the bird. Hmm. These are light and chill and that. And now I'm going to get another little dude in. I'm super tired, but I'm going to do it. One more duder. One more duder. Duder, duder. Sorry, it's very exciting for me. His perspective is more to our plane. So his boat has more of that feeling to it. A little flatter. But he, again, his little hat here. Actually, I think you would see his face, but we're not going to. But if you were, like, up on... Is it... Do they wear, like, a wrap on the face? Hmm. Because it uh, looks no, to me no, like the face is wrapped. Now I want to go here and find well, out. There may be a mosquito netting. That seems smart. I don't know. Mosquitoes I've, carry I've, a lot of I've, not nice stuff. I do not know where the they in this photo were from. I don't either. But we'll say it's from mystical land <laughs> with cool domey hats. Well, the domey hats are super awesome. And they have jukes, which is the kind of boat that is. Is that what it is? 
Well, the one to the left is a jute. Oh, okay. I don't really know anything about boats. It's we had a catamaran, but that's the whole extent of my boat knowledge. I only knowledge. know that that's because the square um, sail pattern of that. I was yeah. looking at making a small boat, and a juke is a style that I thought I might want to make. She's just always up to some weird stuff. So I'm just brushing his little <laughs> outfit here. He is, you know, if you're going to have a boat. So I'm just trying to get his little the essence of him, the little sketch of him. So you get a sense that there's a there's a figure in the distance, but the details are maybe not as you know put together. I'm gonna get this wet and uh, a little more blue, and we're actually getting through this pretty quick for what we're doing. So I'm gonna add another little bird. It's kind of like a little bean shape. If you've ever done Bean Man with me? You're ready to do this little bird. You watch me do some bean man. Here's a little pot. Which I I really want to make a fire in so badly and little sparks coming up. Well then go for it. I think it would be inappropriate to put a fire on a boat though. Only if uh, it burns your boat. I mean there, there are fires on boats. You don't have to have them. I'm pretty sure that lantern has a fire in it. The lantern does, but that seems like a like a contained, thought out fire. <laughs> you usually wouldn't want a raging one on the deck of the ship, no, I'm sure. Just making these little birds, little little impressions, their little bird shapes, are there, and then we kind of know how to do this reflection now, don't we? We got one kind of coming here, and then it comes long. The little leg reflections always crack me up. That happen. And then just get a like lighter and open it up as it comes out. And again, look at that. So those little reflections are there. Two little dudes. This is actually, seriously, this is so much better than I expected to be uh, up for today. Just to be super awesome and, 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 and honest and together. I'm mixing my cad yellow and my vermilion very loosely. I'm going to come here. I'm going to touch that right there. And I just, that makes me happy, dude. It, that turned out really good. And just pop a little bit in the water. And that's what I got. That's what it is today. You give it a little signature? I'm going to give it a little signature. I didn't like. I didn't abstract on you guys. We were close to it. <laughs> if you're ever having a day like this, though, and you're not under, say, like, I'm a YouTube teacher and I'm supposed to show up for classes, um, you should definitely, like, do paint but make it something smaller and chiller because there are times in our lives that we just end up more leveraged out than we normally are, and it's a good idea to make space for that to be okay. All right. <laughs> It's a crazy little painting, but we got through it. I'm going to turn around. Boom. Oh, in the distance, it's all right. It looks great. So, yeah, sometimes you're tired. Some days are hard. Some days it just isn't going to all be smooth. Some days you, your chores and your life and your things start to stack, 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 stack up. And you've got to, you know, you've told your family members that this is your sacred time and they're expecting you to take your sacred time. And you're like, I just want to take a nap. So it's okay to just be a little relaxed on those days. Be good to yourself. Be good to each other. And I want to see you at the easel really soon. Bye-bye.